Welcome to today's lecture. Uh, today's topic is laws and values, and we'll look at the seven goals of the legal system as well as some different types of values uh, where our laws might come from. Laws generally reflect and promote a society's values. Our legal system is influenced by our society's traditional ideas of right and wrong. For example, laws against murder reflect the moral belief that killing another person is wrong. Most people would condemn murder regardless of what the law said. However, not everything that is immoral is also illegal. For example, lying to a friend might be immoral, but it usually is not illegal. And you can think of some other instances as well, just like we did on our Laws and Values worksheet. We expect our legal system to achieve many goals. And so here we have several listed, and there's a total of seven. It says protecting basic human rights, promoting fairness, helping resolve conflicts, we use the court system and our civil justice system for that, promoting order and stability, and number five, promoting desirable social and economic behavior, representing the will of the majority, and protecting the rights of the minorities. So all of these are goals, and they don't always are not always necessarily compatible. Many of society's most difficult problems involve conflicts among these goals. For example, some laws give preference to minorities over rights, over whites. Critics of these laws argue that they discriminate against whites and create racial conflict. Proponents of such laws, however, argue that they protect the rights of minorities, promote fairness by leveling an uneven playing field, and help reduce racial tension. And we've seen court cases that deal with affirmative action and where they try to decide, should affirmative action be used in schools or in jobs, or is it time for that not to be there? So you can kind of see where these um, goals sometimes uh, don't work together, are not compatible. Achieving these goals just listed while trying to avoid conflict is a dis difficult task for the U.S. legal system. Laws must balance rights with responsibilities, the will of the majority with the rights of the minority, and the need for order with the need for basic human rights. And many of these uh, goals, our laws, are based on our values. So laws can be based on moral, economic, political, or social values. As values change, so can laws. Moral values deal with fundamental questions of right and wrong. For example, laws against killing promote society's primal moral value, the protection of life. However, even this shared moral value, protection of life, is not absolute or universal because it is limited in limited circumstances such as self-defense or war that allows in the law allows intentional killing. The second value, economic value, it says is the uh, accumulation of preservation, use, and distribution of wealth. Many laws promote economic values by encouraging certain economic decisions and discouraging others. For example, the law encourages homeownership by giving tax benefits to people who borrow money to pay for a home. Laws against shoplifting protect property and discourage stealing by providing a criminal penalty. The third one is political values, which reflect the relationship between the government and individuals. Laws make it easier to vote, promote citizen, citizen participation in the political process, a basic American political value. The fourth one is social values, and this concerns uh, issues that are important to society. For example, is it an American social value that all students are provided with free public education, at least through high school? That's why most states have a law uh, allowing for high school and uh, public education and middle school so that you can go there without having to pay for it. And what I want you to do here is you have the Google form on this page as well. And so I just want you to do letters A through F. Um, just based on those different values that I talked about, which ones do you think uh, each of these are? Do you think it's a moral value, economic, political, or a social value that are involved? And it could involve more than one, but try to pick you know, the top one or two that you think are most involved when reading the statements on this uh, page. 